Greg, commiserations, a 7-0 defeat tonight to Kilmarnock in the Reserve Cup final, but I think the academy deserves a lot of plaudits for getting here in the first place and having a great season overall. It does, and, and credit to the boys. I mean, it's it's a great occasion to come out and play in a final. We say that, you know, how many have actually played in a final in front of a crowd, won something? Not a lot of players in there. Um, and, you know, f for how the 18s have did this year, you know, they deserve to play because if They've been excellent so far this season. Um, they've came on since day one to now. And who would have thought that you'd have an academy team out playing in a final against a Kilmarnock, just about first team. As you said, it was literally men v boys at times tonight, but how much progression could the lads learn from that kind of occasion tonight? Oh, that's what our point was. They'll learn loads for that. I mean, you're playing against other teams in the 18s league and you're, you're winning or, or, or drawing games and you know some games are close but regardless of the score tonight you know they'll learn more for that game tonight than they have done all season and that's the important piece you know a lot of players out there that performed they performed well uh, and you know it's just it's part of it that's part of development and trust Jordan that happens at professional level as well you know if you go to your Rangers Celtic plays against teams like that that's what happens you sit and you've got to be organised have a little bit of discipline uh, and that's the parts we have to learn um, so it was a wee bit of a you know, not a shock for some of them tonight, but you know, it was a huge learning curve. How pleased are you with the academy overall? How much progression do you feel it's made this season? Oh, it's came on leaps and bounds. Um, you see the progression of some of them, some of their movement there. You know, when they're on the half turn, they're going forward, and even the move in the first half, where I think Sam Young played into Taylor, he bounced it back to Andrew, and Taylor, he slipped Taylor in. You know, our level at 18s, Taylor's in and goal, and he's finishing that. But playing against, you know, your more experienced players, that's where he struggles. So there was moments in the game that was was good. It's just the final ball, the final piece again, eh? but it's, it's having a confidence about what we do. That's all we're looking at. Can they do that against the more experienced player? It's okay doing it at a level, but doing out there on this occasion, you know, that, that's the piece that, you know, I'm not worried about the result. You know, we knew that on paper when we looked before the game, we think, here we go. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, I think when you ask the boys and the, the dust settles tomorrow morning, they'll be disappointed tonight, but they'll move on tomorrow as they always do. Um, for the game on Friday. A, a small band of Dunfermline supporters made their way to Kilmarnock tonight and that must really please yourself and, and the lads as well in the dressing room that people have taken the time to come here and, and support them and, and give them well, that encouragement. Well that's right, you know I heard a lot of hype beforehand, there was a bus going down and you know and, and whatever but you know for the fans to come down and the fans would rather come down here and see the young boys play than come down and see, here and see first team boys play. You know that's, we've played a lot of reserve games before where you know first team players have played. And, um, you know, a lot of the, the supporters would like, they want to see progression, they want to see youth, they want to see what's coming through. And they saw that tonight and they were excellent with the boys, you know, and it's it's great for them, it's great for our players. But, you know, that's that's football, right? It's, you know, we played against Celtic a few years ago with the reserves at East End Partner Cup game and, you know, it was virtually the first team that went out. We, we got nothing from it. Tonight was, was great for the, the younger boys. And just finally, Greg, in terms of the progression of the academy overall going into next season, very encouraged after tonight? It is, and that's the thing. We've, we're a very young team. I said that at the start of the season. We did that last year, and, you know, we, we, we moved players on that, you know, we, we felt were, you know, had to go to another club to, to benefit. We brought a lot of young players in last year who, who the majority of that squad that played tonight can play 18s next year. And that's where it's important, but it's about getting the right players behind that and having a plan. And certainly myself and my coaches, we have that plan. And the academy is in a really good place. We're in a strong position. Um, it's onwards and upwards. But I've been delighted with them as a group. They've, they've been fantastic. They've taken what we've said. They've listened. And most importantly, they want to learn week in, week out, which is, um, which is the biggest part of you know, my job that I enjoy.